this week, I woke up in the morning, one morning, and I said to myself, nothing matters, only my connection to source. Nothing matters, only my connection with my inner being. Nothing matters more than that. Yes, yes. Because... And therefore, everything that matters, I got a handle on it. Yes. Because what I realized... That so you're prioritizing. A lot of things matter. Yeah. But first things first. Yes. <laughs> you plug the vacuum into yes. the power and then you vacuum. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, <laughs> you look busy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And then when, what I realized, whenever I felt a negative emotion, I was thinking, why do I feel that? And I would always, I, f I noticed that it's always, I calibrated to someone else. Like I was e either upset or I was thinking what the other person thinks about me, like the negative emotion. It's good to connect those dots to notice because the emotion is a manifestation. We like to say it this way. There are two ways for you to know what your point of attraction is. One is how you're feeling and the other is what manifested. One's before it manifested and one's after it manifested, but you can always tell. And then we say when things manifest, once something is manifested, if you have deliberately thought about it and deliberately tuned yourself and known that it didn't feel good and then you calibrated it into a place that it did feel good, now when it manifests, you're able to associate that manifestation with that focus so you know what's going on. Esther would say, I did that. And then something not so good would happen and she'd say, I also did that. Yeah, good. Yes, uh, absolutely. And then you teach um, to be more selfish and not to care. We're not trying to get you to be more selfish. We want you to understand that you are, that you are self-aware. You only have the vantage point from your perspective. But when we say we want you to be self-aware and selfish, we mean we want you to blend yourselves, the physical you and the non-physical you. We've been talking about how every thought that you think you still have access to. It's like you have a bag of marbles and every thought you've ever thought is in it. It's a really big bag and they're really little marbles, everything, but not all of them are active. You're not feeling around all of them, but when you feel that means you're active enough that you have a relationship between you and your inner being. In other words, if you feel something and you feel happy about it, that means that your bag of marbles right now, something's active in it. That's also active in your inner beings bag. And so that's what you're reaching for. That's what selfish is me deliberately activating something that my inner being has activated. And when the law of attraction calls me to that, because I am now a cooperative component to this dominance of who I am. Well, that feels so good, doesn't it? Yes. So your question is? Yes. So also the, is it possible that when I'm really, really in alignment and in, vor in the vortex, that when another person comes to me, or if I'm working with that person as a client, I'm a coach and the person is a client that they get in the vortex too. Sometimes it depends upon their relationship. In other words, if you are really in alignment and someone that you're focused on isn't your relationship goes like this. If they're really not in alignment and you really want to be a good coach. So you really want to pay attention to what's going on with them and you join them. Then the two of you go off into the bushes together. If you are really in alignment and they want to be, but they're not, but you are, but they're not. And they focus on you and you're not trying to get them to be someplace they're not. So where they're not is not in your vibration. Now you are like their inner being. You are influential. And so there is a high probability that when you are consistently like that, that when you focus on another, they join you. Yes. Yes. Because my clients who come like even after decades of therapy, they, they have miracles after one or even a few sessions. They, it's like, it's like, it's, it's indescribable. Well, then you're helping them release resistance. That's good.
Yes, yeah. and also they feel that love for everything instead of hate. Well, love is the opposite of resistance. You're using emotional words in a different way than we do. Emotions are indicators. You could also call emotions manifestations. Your emotions are your first, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, manifestation of alignment or discord. So when you feel an emotion, it's giving you important information. Okay, and okay, one more question is like when you say there is no separation, and sometimes I practice that, like I feel there is no separation. Well, what we mean is you cannot ever really cut yourself off from your inner being. When you feel negative emotion, you've pinched yourself off pretty good, but you're not ever going to separate. Here in this physical body, you could get feeling terrible, and it could get so bad that you just couldn't stay in your physical body anymore, and all of a sudden you'll be in full alignment with no resistance. You can't get away from your inner being but when you're suffering you're making a pretty good case to vibrate in a place that your inner being isn't which is usually because you've been observing physical stuff and trying to follow physical formats that other people have assigned to you without tuning into you there's a lot of people that are attempting a lot of therapy and we don't mean it in the strictest sense of therapy but we mean there's a whole lot of advice out there parents say toughen up push through well you got to try offer some effort get some gumption and they mean well but they are therapying they're teaching resistance we've talked all day here today about the difference between being tuned in tapped in turned on which is what we really mean by the path of most allowance or the path of least resistance and going about it the way a lot of humans want to go about it through comparison and strife effort is probably the best word effort and so can you feel do you have an awareness is some knowing active in you right now that you deliberately came into this body do you have an awareness of that and you can call it logic but we don't want to get to picky about it doesn't it feel to you like you came here you didn't get shoved out of an airplane somebody sent a little video clip to Esther and this person had changed her mind and she was not wanting to go and she was clinging to the walls of the airplane and the man pushed her out <laughs> she had a parachute she changed her mind well sometimes when you get here you cling like you didn't mean to get here but you wanted to come you wanted to come you knew the value of being here you knew it would stimulate you and inspire you unique you you knew that you would uniquely discover some things that interested you you knew it was going to be wonderful you knew that it was going to be expansive and you knew that you would not ever get it done so you knew you would never be bored you knew you would never be bored. You knew that there was a possibility that you might get cattywampus of who you are, but you knew that you'd constantly be being called to the fulfillment of who you really are. And so you weren't the least bit worried about it. You didn't put any disclaimers in any contract before you came. You didn't say, clean it all up and when it gets good, then I'll go. And you didn't say, and once I get there, give me the power to know what's right and what's wrong and the power to make them all do the right thing. You didn't say that either. You said, I love them all. I love their differences and the way their differences play off of each other. And I love the stimulation, the new thoughts that come within me. And I love the free will for those new thoughts to be born. And I love knowing the good feeling of those. I love knowing that my inner being has vetted all of this. My inner being knows the difference between love and hate and always and only loves. And you said, and I know that I will be able to feel the difference. And I'm just going to lean toward love as often as I can and toward fun and satisfaction and fulfillment. I'm going to praise when I feel inspired to. And if I feel like criticizing, I'm going to do everything in my power, at least not to do it out loud. <laughs> and when I catch people being defensive with me, even though I didn't say anything to them, thought it, but didn't say it, I'll know 
my mic's always on and that if I'm thinking it there's a chance they're picking up on it so the whole world is going to reflect back to me what I'm offering yay world <laughs> yay all of it in other words and then I get to have this new now here it is here it is again here it is again this constant streaming of time packets that are so precisely configured that I can't even see the difference between one it's now there it went again there it went again there it went again here it comes here it comes now 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 where there is only one thing that I want to be aware of the convergence of me and me in this now because my inner being is right here now with me my inner being is right here now with me having this conversation right here now with me and knowing having an awareness of it right here right now with me and I can tell by the way I feel how similar vibrationally my now and my inner beings now are and when I feel interested or eager or appreciation or fun or love excitement adventure expectancy that feels good oh I'm tuned in tapped in turned on and that means more things turning to things more thoughts turning to things more thoughts turning to things and so I hear myself saying things like I was just talking about that I can't believe that you brought that up I was just thinking about that and here you are thinking about that too let's talk about that or I was just wondering about that and there you are Esther was just wondering about you and there you are I was just wondering about this and wondering about that it was active in my vibration and the law of attraction just brought you right to me because it was active in my vibration and I didn't kill it with doubt you don't kill anything with doubt you kill it with thought and doubt is the evidence you don't destroy anything with hate you just focus away from what your inner being is focused upon and hate is the evidence that you've turned away from the love that you really are oh we think you've got it there isn't anything that we know right now that you don't know so just be playful have fun with it we're appreciating your being here and what you have caused to happen you're important to this world certainly important to this body beings and there is great love here for you and for now we are complete if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next